welcome. For today's process video, um, we're going to start with our story. Um, the story that goes with these photos is very important. It's one that I want to make sure gets put into my scrapbook, but I don't really have great photos to go with it. Just these two. Um, so there's going to be a lot of journaling in this layout, and I'm going to be using my January click kit. So um, I hope that you enjoy this kind of take, and if you have photos or stories to tell that don't maybe have the best photos, these two I pulled off of Facebook, um, I hope maybe this can inspire you to get those stories told with a layout that's very journal heavy. So I'm going to start this layout by picking my pattern papers, and I chose to go with a green, cream, cream colored background, and then I'm just going to layer up some of these papers behind my two photos. And then I'm going to get to work on my journaling. My journaling is going to come from Facebook. So I posted this story onto Facebook. And what I did was I just copied and pasted my um, story from Facebook onto a, onto a printer paper. And then I, I printed it out and then put my gray cardstock and reprinted it out. So I had my journaling and I could put these nice strips onto my page. So now I'm just trimming all those strips down and laying them out in the way that I like them. I really liked the way I had told this story when I had posted these photos with this story on Facebook. So I didn't feel a need um, to kind of rewrite the wheel. Even though I generally would kind of do journaling in my own handwriting, I really liked the way that I told the story and how I told the story. So that was why I decided to do the journaling for this layout that way. And I'm going to ink all these journaling strips with um, Hickory Smoke Distress Ink and get to work on my title. My title actually came to me in two ways. The first one was I really wanted to use these red letters, but I only had one of each letter. So I had to come up with a title that didn't have more than two of any letter. And um, I did, chose the title It Was Huge because the um, back of the, the end of the story that I told. I went ahead and um, that's what I said at the end of my story. So two things you probably noticed is one, we slowed down because I got to the point where um, my journaling and my title was done and I kind of walked away and came back and I thought, oh, well, I, I only have to embellish this page now. Most of it's done. I can just do it in real time without speeding it up. But of course, that kind of didn't work because I started to go through all my principles and my die cuts and my embellishments and trying to figure out what I wanted to use. And it was much harder than what I expected. So I did cut a good bit of this out for you. So now um, I'm pulling out some more embellishments. These are the um, the little, I guess they're maybe enamel shapes. They're a little large. They're from the Fancy Plant Pants Happy Place collection. And um, I'm kind of pulling them out. And I'm going to go through the die cut pack now. And when I go through the die cut die cut pack, it's going to frustrate me. Um, you'll see me kind of go through them and pick out what I wanted. The other thing you'll start to notice at this point is there's going to be a little bit more camera shake. And as I go through here, I'm going to explain to you why. So I um, scrapbook on a very, very old antique drafting table. Um, our house was built in 1920 and it was left here by the previous owners and the previous owners told us that it had been left here by the previous owners. Um, and so it's really old and a very, very old. It, it could be 96 years old, as old as my house. And it's, it has these big gears on it that hold it up. And every so often, as you would expect with a 96 year old table, which is totally awesome and fine, but those gears kind of let loose sometimes. And as I was doing this layout, I was noticing that my table was starting to shake. So Please excuse the camera shake. And as soon as I was done um, filming and doing this layout, I went down underneath the table and screwed all the gears down real tight again. So there won't be any more of that for a while. So now I'm just continuing to go through, going through the die cuts and picking out which ones I like and, and how I want to use them. And I kind of get stuck on that light bulb because I love what it says and I think it would it goes perfectly with what my story is about. But... Um, I don't like it. I don't like the shape of it. And it takes me a long time to kind of decide I don't like it because I really, really, really wanted to use it. And I really wanted to use it as part of um, that cluster at the bottom. 
So now I'm going ahead and I'm going to layer up and decide what pieces that I want um, up in that cluster beside my photo. And this cluster comes together really easily. I, it's very easy for me to kind of choose what pieces I want and where I want to put them. Um, the other two um, embellishment cluster, clusters I decide to do, they're, they're going to take a while. Um, I don't like the, I love that hooray, and I know that there's some, just a little bit of white space issue between the word it and my journaling, but I can't quite figure out how to fill it so it looks nice. And then at the end, I think I do a pretty good job of kind of dealing with it. But right now, I'm really kind of insisting that that hooray is going to go there. And it, it really isn't going to work. So I decide just to ignore these two places of embellishment that, that aren't working for me and I can't. I can't figure them out and work and kind of focus on that one up on my photo that I really do like. So I'm going to go ahead and take all those pieces and I'm going to use some Tim Holtz Hickory Smoke Distress ink on all the different layers. And then I'm going to grab these uh, little word stickers from the Fancy Pants Happy Place collection and I'm going to pull three off that I think really um, talk about my story and the feelings and kind of what the story is about and those three words are smiles way cool, and moments. And I'm going to go ahead and place those in different areas around my embellishment cluster. And the next thing I'm going to grab are um, those enamel shapes that I had a little bit ago. And I'm going to grab um, a yellow star and two little red hearts to kind of finish that cluster. And I really like the way that the, that, that cluster looks but I just, I'm really struggling with that other part of my layout. So at that time when I, I get those down and I, I grabbed these little red hearts and put them down, I really just walked away from this layout. I went downstairs and just was done. Um, I made some dinner and I just thought about what, what was wrong with it and what I didn't like about it and what I could fix it. You know, how I could fix it or... or or what um, what I could do to fix it. And it was really a struggle. Like I said, I really, I walked away for quite a while after this. And when I came back, I had it. No light bulb. What I decided I needed there was something more rectangular in shape. I needed something to make my layout finish off my square. So at the top of my page, I kind of had a square going. And then my journaling kind of continued that idea of like a square going down. And then I needed to continue that square shape. So what I did was I took some of that striped teal pattern paper and I took the die cut from the die cut pack that said happy. So that brought in some of the teal colors that were in that original cluster at the top and um, it brought in some reds. And um, I'm going to grab some of the labels and kind of layer some of the labels up behind my square. Um, but that's what it needed. I needed to finish my square because that shape of that light bulb, while, the, um, while what it said was perfect and lovely, the shape of it was really not, not working in that space. So now we're going to go back to our layout and we're going to add our square, <laughs> which is going to finish off or we're going to add our triangle and as you can see that it finishes off that that space down there and finishes off kind of I, I hope you can see what I mean by like that square shape that I have you know with the the journaling and the and the the photos and the title and um, we were kind of missing my layout was missing that bottom corner it, it really needed that so I'm just inking everything up I'm going to layer in that yellow label to bring in some yellow behind my cluster. I'm going to put um, a couple more of those label stickers in there and I'm going to get to work on the third layout and you'll notice I already moved the hooray. I've decided at this point I've decided I'm just kind of going to ignore that kind of open white space in there for the moment because I really think that that hooray looks so much better more as a cluster on that right corner under the photo. And now um, I'm going to work on that hooray. I'm going to layer in um, some printable tabs and this frame. And I'm actually kind of interested in watching this as I do the voiceover because what happens is, see I lay them down all nice the way I think I want them. And then I take them up 
to glue them down, um, to put tape on the back of them. And uh, I totally forget where I had initially put them. I, I don't, this was, this layout was quite difficult for me. I don't know if um, I was just having an off day or, or what was going on. I even considered not not even voice putting a voiceover onto this video and not even posting it. But then I thought, you know what? We all have bad days. We all have bad scrapbooking days where we lay our embellishments out just the way we want and we pull them up to put tape on them and then we can't remember where we originally had them. So that's what's happening now. I can't remember how I have had them layered originally that I liked them. So I put this tag under the um, hooray, and then I go to put the arrow down, and the arrow doesn't fit like it did the first time, and now it looks funny, where before it looked perfectly fine, um, and I, and, uh, I was trying to decide how, how did I do that, that everything was laid out there so nice, and now it's not working, so I decided just to kind of scrap the tag, and, um, I'm gonna try here again to put it down, and I, I can't figure out how I had it, um, I've totally forgotten. So I've kind of been working on this now for most of my day. I mean, you know, between kids and dogs and, and stuff like that. So I just pulled out. I knew that the, there were arrows on that little puffy, puffy sticker sheet. And I knew that they were smaller than the tab. So I just pulled them out and decided I was going to go ahead and grab some of those, which worked out well because then I was able, and in the end it worked out good because I was able to pull in some of the reds and some of the yellows. So this is going to be the last little piece I'm going to work on. Um, I'm going to grab these puffy shapes and um, that kind of finishes up my layout. And now I'm going to go... Um, I'm going to go ahead and add those, a couple more of the word stickers. Um, this is the part where I add in the ones down on that square that say awesome and memories. And then I'm going to grab a um, dark navy blue one that says love this. And I'm going to put it up by the photos. And I'm also going to put, um, I think I grab one more, one or two more of those little puffy sticker sheets and uh, go ahead and put those around to kind of fill in some of the the gaps in in the layout where I think we still need just a little bit more embellishment to finish it off. And last but not least, I'm going to grab some enamel dots and this is going to fix my problem beside my T. Remember that like gappy space over there that I kept saying I tried to put the hooray over there and I tried to put this over there and so I grabbed some teal enamel docks and I start to sprinkle them around and I kind of realize, hey, if I put a really big one over there, one of those, you know, the big enamel dots on the package up there, that kind of helps to fill in that um, white space up at the top that I'm really kind of not liking and that, that does help. I think it kind of solves some of the problem but it gives you somewhere in that in that spot for your eye to go and our layout is done finally yay <laughs> so i hope you've enjoyed this video and um if you have any comments or if you've had a bad day like i did with this layout please leave me a comment let me know i'm not alone have a great day bye